Hey everybody, this is John Rog Reptiles. I'm gonna do a short clip. We got a few more eggs that dropped tonight. Uh, this is actually uh, Imperial Pueblin, which is an apricot Pueblin milk crossed with a banana king. And so I'm gonna get this box open and see what we got in here. So this is her first clutch. Um, Looks like she's got a slug there, but the other ones look good. You can see four of them. I don't know, she's got another one under her. Take a look at that once I move her. So these are hybrids. I mean, they're still, you know, non propeltis but they are a cross. Definitely a cross that is just phenomenal to me. Um, she doesn't have that much color, but normally these produce really bright oranges and reds, um, black. Uh, the combination of those are just outstanding to me. Really cool looking snakes. For the most part, they still look like Pueblins to me with just a twist in the pattern. Um, most of them vary. Um, this is actually a girl I got from uh, Mesoric Reptiles. Um, I got a few of these. Uh, and this is actually the first clutch from this girl again. Um, and these eggs look pretty good. I mean, even if there's only four, that's still good. Because these animals just look great once they're hatched out. Um, like I said, they vary in color and pattern. So take a look at that um, once they get hatched out post videos of those once they pip um, show you how I cut these eggs being smaller is pretty delicate process um, but it's fairly easy I mean I don't rec any recommend anybody do this you know if they've never done it before as far as cutting eggs um, maybe you know, watch some videos see how it's done properly you want to definitely make sure you don't cut the snake while cutting them. But let's get this girl off and uh, see what she's got here. Hopefully she don't grab the eggs too tight. So let me see if I can just remove this one or these two. I'll lay those to the side. She seems cleaned out. Small clutch, but still good. One slug, looks like four of them are good. So I'll get these set up. And these will go about 60 days. Um, you know, 56, 58, give or take. Normally, full on incubation is around 60 days, but can vary. Really excited. Really want to see what's in these eggs. Unfortunately, you got to go through the process, but Imperial Pueblins, yeah, they're awesome animals. Um, I know a lot of people aren't into hybrids or crosses or anything like that, but if you do decide to get into them, um, Imperials are definitely a killer animal to have. If you like a snake with a lot of colors, definitely something you want to look into. Uh, we should have more of these coming up, so we will have some available. And if we don't have what you're looking for, uh, like I said, Mazoric Reptiles produces a mass amount of these. Um, good person to go through. So I'm going to get these eggs set up, get an egg box mixed up. Um, appreciate everybody's support. Look forward to getting more videos up. We'll go into more detail as we go on. Um, we're just starting to get this YouTube thing off the ground. Um, we've been active business probably for almost 12 years now. But I've been doing this, you know, breeding and keeping for probably about 25 years now. So I, I do appreciate everybody's support, you know, your likes, any comments or questions you guys may have, drop them. I'll be happy to answer anything. And until next time, I'll see you later.